Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Hello and welcome to another Tech Tuesday with Walks and Wonders. Today I'm going to look at the Osmo Pocket and see is this the ideal vlogging camera. If this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll get notifications of new videos. As you may know, if you watch previous videos, I'm on the search for the kind of small camera you could carry in your pocket or in a rucksack. Uh, you can walk along with, it's got good stabilization and you can talk to the camera as you walk without looking too shaky. So one camera that attracted me was the Osmo Pocket. Here it is, tiny little thing. Uh, comes in this little case and it's pocket by name and pocket by nature. It really is small enough to fit in your pocket. Now the idea of the Osmo Pocket is to get this little gimbal on the top uh, to give you perfect stabilization in your shots. Whichever way you turn that, that camera should stay reasonably level or at least if it moves around it will move smoothly so you don't get the jagged or shaky shots you would normally get. So let's look at the pros and cons of the Osmo Pocket. Pro number one is it fits in your pocket, so it's really handy. And for the size, uh, I think you can't, it's very difficult to get a smaller camera than that unless you think about the GoPro, but this is probably only takes as much space in your pocket. Another pro is the stabilization, and that's what this camera is all about. If I move around, this mechanical gimbal on the top is really smoothing out my movements by delaying moving where I'm moving. Whatever you do, this is going to try and keep the picture level and that will give you a smooth shot. Uh, the next pro, which is what attracted me to it, is this front facing screen. So you want to film in front of you. Uh, it films like this, three sharp clicks on the button and it will turn the camera around and it has this tiny little front facing screen so that as you walk you can see where you are in the picture and it has got face tracking on this so it will try and track your face as you're walking along. The video quality is very good I'm quite pleased with it all these modern cameras now advertise 4k some 6k 8k I don't know anyone that's using 4k or 6k or 8k most TVs are full HD which is 1080p uh, that's one of the lower resolutions on this. I only want full HD for my videos, so for me, uh, the video quality is more than enough, more than you'd need. But if you want the 4K, if you want to do super high detail video, you can do it with the Osmo Pocket. For me, one of the best features of this camera is the programmable time-lapse mode. It has several modes. Uh, I haven't tried them all, but the programmable time-lapse means not only can you do time-lapse, but you can program the camera to move slowly as the time lapse happens. So you get this kind of uh, moving time lapse a bit like this. Um, it comes with uh, one of the little micro SD cards, they're a tiny little thing. Uh, tech up to, I think this will take up to the 128 gig. I've got 64 gig in there so I found if I go out and do a walk as more than enough space um, yeah it's a great little camera you can get various accessories for the Osmo pocket uh, but it does have this little connector on the front which you just pull off and you, you may well lose that at some point and this you can just you can just clip into your iPhone like that especially if your iPhone's on it's now firing up the app so you've now got a much bigger viewfinder and there's a lot more settings and controls on your iPhone screen when you attach it to that so it's not the iPhone that's filming it is uh, controlling the Osmo Pocket and you can see what you're filming better and it'll still work with keeping everything level and stable I think it's a good feature that you can plug it into your iPhone, get a much bigger display if you're trying to do more detailed work and see what you're doing and all your time lapse and everything is available from that screen and obviously if you clip your iPhone into something with a tripod mount you can mount this on a tripod. So those are what I think is a good thing about the Osmo Pocket now let's come to some of the cons. It was sold as a perfect vlogging camera if we just put that on there. 
we flip the camera around we can see ourselves in the screen and then you'd kind of walk with it like this and that's kind of how I filmed some of the vlogs when I was using this camera. My problem is that's not quite a wide enough angle lens and so what you get is a you get a kind of this effect where it's mostly my head. What I'm after is me in the corner of the picture uh, so you can see where I am and what's in the background. A second con may be that the, it's got two microphones. One is here and one is on the bottom of the device but you're tempted to hold it like this which covers up both microphones so you really have to hold it with your fingers at the side which is not a very natural way to hold the camera. I think they missed a trick here because they could have made this just slightly bigger or even just slightly longer by a few millimetres and let you plug an external microphone in that would have been much better. So what they did I think was a bit of a con they brought out this microphone adapter. So it goes from the USB-C socket under the camera to the audio jack that's all it does that's all this does. 40 pounds they were selling them for and it's only them that sell them. So you can't just uh, plug an ordinary USB-C adapter and it has to be one of these things. So that plugs in there and then you can get a little microphone. You could use a tie clip microphone or if you don't want to be tethered you can just plug a, a little external microphone in like that and off you go. But it's not really in the right direction. Now the microphone's pointing down so you'd want another adapter to bring it 90 degrees but then the more adapters you've got the bigger it gets and it's it's suddenly it's not the pocket thing that you thought you were using. Having said that when you plug an external microphone in the sound quality is a lot better than it is but it's not bad even using the internal microphone. Another thing I think they could have done with putting on this is a tripod mount. At some point you're going to want to stand that on something while you walk in front of the camera. But if you just put this on a you know wall or something like that I think the wind could easily blow it over. Of course you can buy accessories but then that's pumping the price up. Yet again you've got your microphone adapter at 40 pounds and then if you want a tripod mount adapter uh, you know it's more and more money. So I did try a couple of adapters. So this is a Wi-Fi receiver. So it's got a slightly flatter bottom, wider bottom you could possibly stand that on something but still no tripod mount. But what that does is you can then link to the phone through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and control it without plugging the uh, iPhone into the little adapter. So you can control the camera from a distance. What I also got that comes from the same company which I think is Polar is the adapter company is this little device if I can remember how it goes on. Yeah because I'm like this way. Now that does have a tripod mount on there so now it's quite a bit bigger but you can now fit that onto a tripod. You can connect through Wi-Fi, you can program the camera, you can walk around. And the other thing this camera does which is a pro not a con is that if you've got all that set up on a tripod which you need the adapter for uh, you can tell it just to track you so you can move about in the picture if you're explaining something and need to move about a bit and the camera will track you. So that's good but it's just annoying that you've got to have all the adapters to do that. So overall I quite like this. I, I didn't keep it as my main camera for some of the cons that I've just listed but it is a good camera and I quite like it for the programmable time lapse or if you're trying to get a very stable uh, tracking shot or moving shot uh, this is good. You shouldn't get shakes with the Osmo Pocket. When I bought this it was about £360 so not a cheap camera but here's today's price that I've just looked on the internet. So what about you? Is this the sort of camera you would use for video? I should say by the way it does take still photographs but why you would spend the money on this sort of camera to take still photographs when there's much easier ones and probably just your iPhone or something like that or a little point and shoot camera would be better if you're going to take stills but I'm really concerned just about video and vlogging. So is this a good vlogging camera? I'd give it about 7 out of 10. It should have had a tripod mount. It should have had an external microphone socket. It should have had those things included for the price. And just, you know, if you need to, make it a little bit bigger. It's a tiny little thing. You, you could just make it a bit bigger. 
Also, I think it needs a slightly wider angle lens if you're going to use it to film yourself talking to the camera. Let me know what you think, comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.